was another round of stun jumps. This jump kind of gave me a problem in the beginning, but eventually I did land it. Then I found myself a gold mine of stun jumps right after that. This one was harder than it seemed. I mean, the opening was kind of narrow, and then you had to jump pretty far. Like this one, you had to land almost at the end of the building. But then I ended the day with a little bit of director's mode. I'm still with Frank. Welcome to a new episode of Click Fireball Media, home of hack slash PC and console games. It's going to be the 93rd day today, and I still have more stun jumps to do. We're getting pretty close to completing them all. So I'm going to have to figure out what else to do with Mike, Trevor, and Frank once these stunt jumps are over. For now, I'm just going to be preparing for the couple of stunt jumps that I have ready for today. In that place where I found that gold mine of stunt jumps, there are still a few I haven't done yet, and that's why I'm back here. For some reason, I'm being chased by the cops. I don't know why, but I do know one thing. There are timestamps in the description of the video. And also, if you haven't done it yet, I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell. I'm being shot at by the helicopter right now. This patrol vehicle was trying to crash into me and now it just drove off the dock and into the water. I don't know what that guy was doing, but let's keep going. I'm still being followed and I still don't see the stunt jump. Gonna have to keep going. Eventually, I will find it. And I think I did, so let's just give it a first attempt. Well, that was not a great first attempt. Kind of ran into that thing. Let's go around. Cops are coming. Really not trying to be stuck here in this one spot while I'm being surrounded. It's not the thing to do. So let's just take a left right here. What the hell is this? I just got this car redone and now it's in the water. Well, you know what? Let's get out of the water because Frank is being shot at and this is not the place to be. Need to get on dry land where we could run and do stuff like run okay I see a cop car coming I only have shotgun rounds so I'm forced to use the shotgun I want to use the minigun railgun whatever else I have but it's what I got I took those guys out so I have vehicles to use now at least let's take this one and just smash off they're coming. Turned on Frank's special ability. Barely escaped that hit. But I'm accelerating again. Let's see if we can actually make it this time. Feel kind of confident. Okay, maybe not as confident as I was before. After several more attempts, I did make it into the ramp and watch what happens when I finally did that. And it just kept going. Either way, I'm back. And this time, I have experience and confidence on my side. I found out I don't really need to go that far back, nor do I need Frank's special ability. Just have to make it to the ramp, jump off it from where I was, and the car is going in a slightly different direction this time. Onto that rooftop, which would be the correct one. We got it. Got 10 more stunt jumps to do right after this, and to be honest, I totally missed that stunt jump that was right beside me. I had to come back here. I figured out there was more stunt jumps. Did I go to the one that I was right beside? 
No. I actually was pondering jumping that. Like, it was going to be a challenge or something. I almost sickened myself at that point. But I need to find this next stunt jump. I'm not finding that one in particular. I actually ended up finding another one. So let me just go through the process of me finding this next stunt jump. I'm here and I'm looking. Nothing is appearing to be a ramp like structure besides the ones that I see. This music isn't about glitz. It's more about grunge. It's supposed to be angry. Have a blast and don't get moody, somewhere asshole. on this side. So that's where I'm looking. Going around here. Boulevard Radio. From what I've seen, stops, I'm supposed to see those domes. And the there's the ramp. Right here. A and takes up it's really not yoga. that bad hey, compared to the other ones. Yoga. The entrance, well, the ramp itself is pretty easy to access compared to the other ones. Where you kind of had to get in there perfectly, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm back here now. I think this would be far back enough. The death car is not slow. Alright, first jump. Looks okay. Until this point. It starts slightly flipping over. Then completely flips over. Onto the roof. Lands right here perfectly. I have to climb off. It takes a couple of minutes to do that, so I'm speeding up the amount of time it took. And here I am with the phone. Going to be spawning a bike. I'm figuring that maybe this would be a better choice for this particular stunt jump. So we got the PCG right now. Well, PCJ, my bad. And I need to get far back enough to where I can actually make this next stunt jump. Okay, let's go around and then speed up. We'll see what happens here. Turning on Frank's special ability. Jumping off slightly towards the left. Will this do it? It looks better than the other one. Alright, that's what's up. We have nine more stunt jumps to do. We made it. I'm going to be stopping for now. Saving the last nine stunt jumps for a little bit later on. I ended up switching to Trevor and seeing what he was doing for today. To work or not to work. I'm going to be honest. I was already thinking about continuing operations at Trevor Phillips Industries. And since Trevor is here, I might as well do some ground trafficking missions. Well, at least one. I was looking around for Trevor's rival. I don't see him around There's this time. drop coming in near the plateau by the airfield. Plateau? Hmm, how fancy. That's what it said in the dictionary, man. Hey, watch yourself. The metamundos are heavy that way right now. We don't want problems with them, so let's check the map. This is exactly where we want to be. So let me mark it. And we're good. Let's get out of the map. And head towards that location. I don't really see any warnings about taking the main road, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Until I hear something. This is just the way it's going to go. Watch Oscar contact us in the next few minutes. Let's go through here. Should be pretty close. I already see the smokestack. Let's speed up. The rival runners are getting pretty close to the package. Kind of messed up here. 
trying to see if I can actually make it before the rival runners take the pack. Not going to be following the map. It's going to be leading me all around the place, and by the time I get there, the rival runners would have made their delivery. And it seems like we're too late. Oh my god, if those motherfuckers! They gotta pay for that, man. Can't let them make that deal, Trevor. Alright, let's stop the deal from being made. When I can actually find these guys. They haven't moved? Let's go back a little bit. Where are they at? Okay, we're being shot at. There they are. Telling Trevor to go to hell. Trying to shoot right now. Totally missed. Gonna try it again. Missed again. Alright, this is kind of annoying. I'm hella close now. I still didn't hit him. My aim is hella off today. Don't know what to say. But let's keep going. They're getting pretty close to their drop off location. So if we're going to be doing something, now's the time. Well, I took out the driver. Let me take out this guy. You should know. I took the liberty of killing them all. Try the rest of them, man. Here it is. We got the pack. Let's go back on the map. Marking the waypoint for McKenzie Field here. And we have finally got here. Let's park the dune buggy. And it looks like we have passed another ground trafficking mission. Got 5,000 bucks. I'm done with Trevor for now. I'm going to be switching off to Mike because we ran into a situation, so to speak. So here we are. Blue Dot is on the map, which usually means a group truck. And here it is. I don't really have enough time to get out and fire a grenade or anything, but what I do have is patience. The next light is turning red, gives us the perfect opportunity to take these guys out. Now I'm getting out of the car, switching over to my grenade launcher, and I'm just setting this off. I blew that group truck up, trying not to get hit. I need to grab the briefcase and leave. Okay, well, damn. I don't know what happened there, but Mike is going to have to go to the hospital for a little bit. Switching back to Trevor right now. Man is waking up in a dumpster. I'm going to have to tell you right now, but this is not a surprise. We need to get back to the truck right now and leave. Got to find what else to do today. And I'm getting a message from pitchers. Seems like someone has smashed up the storeroom and we have to do some sort of quick supply run. And I'm more than happy to do that. Let's just find where that is on the map. And it seems to be right here. Didn't take too long. I did arrive. Now I'm trying to find a place to park. Just had to crash into that car real quick. And this wall. It's not a problem. We have two minutes and 30 seconds to get there. Instead of going all the way around, I'm just going to be taking a left right here. That cuts off the time by quite a bit. I'm going to be doing a lot more driving at the same time. It's kind of long, so I'm not going to be showing you the entire thing. Let's just skip ahead real quick. I have about 40 seconds left at this point. Just about here. All I have to do is turn the corner and park this truck. There you go. We made it. Booze have been delivered. And these people are happy as hell. I need to get into this van and just leave. Regardless of how it got done, we're in the car now. And we drove around for a while. 
until this point. I decided to have Trevor hit up Lamar and see what he's doing. They haven't kicked it in a while. That's from Australia. And you're blowing to it. Hey, buddy. You're gonna keep me amused for a while. I thought you was done with me, homie. Okay, though, let's go. I'm coming to get you. Things got set up. Need to go back on the map now. I'm marking the waypoint. After driving around for several minutes, we finally arrived at Frank Sands' neighborhood. Haven't been here in a while. Ever since the beginning of the game. But there he is. Let's go ahead and pull the car over. Let the man in. And we have to pick a destination. And just try to act normal for a few hours, okay? You know, I'm marking the waypoint for the bar. Now we gotta go. Crack. So, uh, since you all on this mentorship slash role model slash inspiration tip with the homie Franklin, I was wondering, you know, why don't you give an up and coming the game? Yeah, slash. Sure, slash. First and only lesson, loyalty. So you mean like only eating a burger shop and not fucking with that clunk and bell shit? I mean, your crew are your brothers. Without them, you're nothing. Well, Frank ain't that good a student if he leaves me on the road to hang with you motherfuckers. Michael doesn't impart the same value system as me. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm with that. Loyalty. For sure. But uh, I heard that Michael dude was living in a big-ass house while you down here bumming in a motherfucking trailer. So maybe his is the example to take. But you know, I'm just talking out loud, man. I'm just thinking this shit, bro. Hey, if you want to be rich and miserable, fuck loyalty. Fuck it in its ass. Nah, man, nah, fuck that. If that's the case, I'd rather be broken angry, just like you. And loyal, too. Really, though, I'm all about loyalty. I guess loyalty wins overall. And that's the end of the conversation. And we are nearing the bar. Let's go ahead and... Pull the car over and let them have a drink real quick. I'm not going to be showing the whole entire trip back or even them getting out of the bar. I'm just going to go ahead and switch off. They don't really have much else to say after that. I'm with Mike. Hey, listen, baby, that was great. I got to run now, okay? All right, bye, babe. So long. Seems like he's done with tennis, but not yet because I'm starting me. another Come game. On. You look like you need to practice. You look like you're about to have a Haven't played there. Amanda in a while. Come on, what are we gonna do? This is gonna be so much fun. Killing can't be your only hobby. Alright, let's just give it a first go. And we won another point. Her days of dominating Mike on the tennis court is over. Mike is here for redemption. That's a pretty good serve. Knocked it over there. Ah, oh, damn. Well, we lost a point. Tied at 15. Let's try and do better with this serve. It's in there. It's all right. Knocking it over to that side. She thought she had us. No, we want another point. 30 to 15. Let's see what I can do this time. That should have been an ace. But we got it though. Don't fuck this up for your own sake. Mike is on game point. Man is feeling himself. Uh, let's see if the old man still got it. We're up 40 to 15. She barely hit that one. She's trying to close in, and that's why she lost magic. that point. And after this, it didn't really get better for Amanda because we're up five to zero. This will be the final point. We haven't let up. No mercy was shown. Now do your best. That's all we can ask for. And we won another point. We're up fifteen to zero. Hitting it back over. And we won another point. It's like taking candy from a baby at this time. 
I know it's kind of messed up, but I can't tell you how many times I lost to Amanda in tennis. I'm trying to think of my lessons, and I'm getting kind of flush. At least she's not telling Mike how he waddles around the court no more. 30 to 15. Not bad for a fat old fool. Match point. From a distance, we look like a healthy couple. Fuck. Does seem like it. Well, she got a fault. 40 15 still. Well, at least I hope you learned something. I can't believe you won. I'll do it. She's in disbelief. Six games to zero. And we are standing here victorious. I think this would be a great time to end the episode, especially on a high note. I'm going to be releasing the next day pretty soon, so look out for it when it comes out. And if you haven't done it yet, you can leave the video a like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell would be greatly appreciated. I would like to thank you and everyone that has subscribed to the channel. I do appreciate it. Until the next time, hope you have a good one. Peace out.